Today I'm talking with someone who's been studying the remarkable power of adrenaline and fear for years. In fact, Jeff Wise literally wrote the book on it. Welcome to the Degree Men Adrenaline Lab. I've experienced a lot of adrenaline in my life, but I probably don't understand the science behind it. So what exactly is an adrenaline rush? Right, so adrenaline is a substance that your body releases into your bloodstream when you're in a potentially dangerous situation. Really, we have two brains. There's the conscious brain that we're all aware of all the time, the rational, logical part that we use. We also have another part of our brain, the subconscious, automatic, ancient part of our brain, and it's always scanning the environment, looking for threats. Fear, panic, and pressure. Three things author Jeff Wise knows a lot about. He's written a book called Extreme Fear, about performing under stress, and he's studied Hugh's case thoroughly. What's really interesting for me about the Hugh Alexander case is here's a guy who found himself completely unexpectedly in this potentially fatal situation, and yet he managed to keep his wits about him and think it through and creatively come up with a solution and managed to survive. Millionaire software company founder John McAfee has finally turned up after weeks on the run from police. Jeff Wise joins us now. He is a contributing editor for Travel and Leisure. I'm not sure people understand why he's seeking asylum in Guatemala, Jeff, because he really wasn't brought up on charges in Belize. So why you move next door? Right. Well, it's been a very strange and almost bizarre story from the get-go. And he never was charged formally in Belize. He's a person of interest. But I talked to the Belize police today, and they confirmed that under Belize law, they can detain him for questioning for up to 48 hours. is basically lazy. So as soon as it's accepted the outline of what it thinks it sees, it just fills in the rest and assumes that all the details match. That's why we fill in Al Gore when it isn't really Al Gore's face. It's hard to think that you could change someone's face and still recognize them. I felt duped and betrayed. I was like going back and forth trying to figure it out and like bugged out a little bit. How does this make you feel about uh, your visual perception? This is going to take months and months of therapy. People say that seeing is believing but it shouldn't always be. Climbing up the slopes of Mount Hecla, there's nothing living as far as the eye can see. In 11.04, there was a catastrophic explosion of Hecla where ash spilled into the atmosphere. Lava and ash from this slope traveled far down over this valley, covering whole villages, spreading word of cataclysm as far as Europe. At 3.04 p.m., the plane is seconds away from lifting off. V1, you accelerate to V1, which is the the speed beyond which you can no longer abort the takeoff. So you have to keep going. You have to take off no matter what happens. Rotate. There's no question that our ancestors lived in a world filled with predators. Bears, wild dogs, big cats, snakes, spiders, a whole array of ways to die. <laughs> 